and Brad Thompson is moving in to route number two. The Winter Nationals have in competition the Legends Nitro Funny Car Series here at In-N-Out Burgers Pomona Drag Strip. Number one qualifier and also getting past round one, Corey McClinathan. That's got to taste as good as an In-N-Out Burger, man. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm a little nervous with Saturday evening first round type of thing. I haven't done that for a long time. So uh, we're just happy to be here. And uh, thanks to Bill Windham and all the guys that, that started the Legends Series for us and really have bulldozed and done very well and NHRA is really back in this thing it's it's got some traction I think it's just gonna get better and more cars and more cars and I'm still learning how to drive a funny car speaking of in and out your personal favorite order oh yeah yeah I mean it's uh, it's got to be animal style so I'll, I'll do a, a couple double doubles if I'm really into it animal style I just love all this stuff coming down off the burger still one of my favorite places to go and every time I get people that come in here from back east, first place they want to go, in and out. That's Corey Mack, Funny Cars, round two, coming up on Monday Morning Racer.
Well, this seems very familiar. About to interview Tim Boychuk going into a final round, but this time it's the Winter Nationals. Do you think that going in and possibly winning could make up for that March meet? Oh, that definitely would make up for the March meet. That was just such a, a crazy thing that happened. Uh, when they closed the body down, the saddle that sits on the frame pinched the wire and, and shorted out our mag. So yeah, this could be redemption, but take it one step at a time, go out there and do the best we can with what we have. Do you have enough? Number one qualifier, been going rounds. Can you get around old Corey Mack? I'm sure going to try. We, uh, we stepped it up a little bit more that we did earlier and uh, see what happens with it. Tim Boychuk, let's speak with the other finalists here on Monday Morning Racer. Corey Mack going into a final, but in a Nitro Funny Car. It's got to bring back a lot of memories, though, of great times at this track. Oh, definitely. Like, I'm watching all my friends and the pro cars and really don't have time to spend with them. But this thing's, you know, it's just like spinning a normal pro car. We take everything apart after every run, just like we did in the big boy cars. So, Glenn Mikers, that's where we come from. That's why we don't, we try not to make mistakes that way. <clears throat> look at everything even if it takes a little bit longer to get it right but we're excited to go in this final round I'm at home this is hometown for me I got Nordic and I got Revchem on the deal this weekend and I'd love to win from everybody and for myself I need a Wally he's looking for a Wally next final round legends nitro funny car here at the Winter Nationals Well, the work is a whole lot easier after a win, and Corey Mack is a winner at the Winter Nationals in a nostalgia funny car, of all things, with the Legends Nitro Series, or Nitro Legend Series. It doesn't matter. You're a legend, and you get another win. <laughs> I'm just excited to be here. You know, given the opportunity to come and drive for Rick Akers, the guy's doing a phenomenal job. Glenn Mikers tuning it, doing a great job uh, at home. My mom at home got to see it. She's excited. I got Nordic Boats and Revchem on the car this weekend, so they were super excited. It's, it's uh, you know, it just everything kind of came together here. We were supposed to go to Bakersfield, but we didn't because Glenn's wife got sick, so we didn't do Bakersfield. That was supposed to be our testing, so we had to test this weekend a little bit, but in the end, it all turned out good. It certainly did turn out good. Number one qualifier all the way to the final round turned on the last wind light the most coveted wind light it seemed like it was flawless was that really the case no not at all matter of fact yesterday first round I left in second gear and I was waiting for Bill Windham to drive around me at any point down there I just help just hold on let's get it done but it's like I'm still in that learning curve you know I don't have it where I can get in and just automatically do everything like I did in a top fuel car yet but I'm getting there and the guys are being patient with me and I appreciate that Corey Mack, your Winter Nationals winner.